if any terrorism comes, it's from this government. And if there was an outside threat like a bin Laden who was a known CIA asset in the 80s running the Mujahideen War and whose family builds all the military bases over in Saudi Arabia right now and sits on the board of Iridium Satellite and tell them, we know the government's planning terrorism. We know Oklahoma City and World Trade Center was terrorism. We know the Joint Chiefs of Staff wanted to blow up airliners, Baltimore Sun. If you do it, we're going to blame you because we know who's up to it. Or if you let some terrorist group do it, like the World Trade Center, we know who to blame. Sari. للمجد والعلياء مجدي لخالق السماء Energy, it would be so large, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. If you want to run against President Bush, you should have run four years ago. The fate of China and the United States have become linked in a way far beyond what any of us could imagine. We are now facing a common challenge. And the challenge is how to build a world order for the first time in history on a global basis. Our goal would be accomplished one drop at a time so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are as a people, inherently and historically, opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts this poet. far outweighed the dangers well, weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere which are cited to justify it even today there is little value in opposing the threat of a closed society by imitating its arbitrary restrictions even today there is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it and there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, and sedatives in food and water. Also, in the air, they will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. There aren't reasons to not get vaccinated. Are you vaccinated. telling parents you should get your kids vaccinated? You should get your kids vaccinated. It's good for them. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their minds and reproductive systems. From all this, their children will be born dead, and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, in what they drink, eat, breathe, and wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons, for they can see far. We will teach them that the poisons are good, with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used in film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them it's for their help. We will start early on when their minds are young. We will target their children 
with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their mind and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will create yet more medicine. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow, and obese. And when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus their attention toward money and material goods, so they may never connect with their inner self. We will distract them with fornication. On Tuesday, Oregon State Police got a tip that a young woman had created a 17-minute porn video that ended up on Pornhub.com. Yeah, it's a buzz around campus. External pleasures and games, so they may never be one with the oneness of it all. Their minds will belong to us, and they will do as we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind-altering technology into their lives. We will use fear as our weapon. We will establish their governments and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. We will always hide our objective, but carry out our plan. They will perform the labor for us, and we shall prosper from their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs. Our blood must be pure always, for it is the way. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them kindly and gently letting them think they are guiding themselves. We will foment animosity between them and our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule or death, whichever suits us best. But that's called the death panel, uh, and you're not supposed to have that discussion. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. The hate will blind them totally, and never shall they see that from their conflicts we emerge as their rulers. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us. They cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. We shall repeat this over and over until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger through images and sounds. We will use all the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by their labor. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them that we are all one. This they must never know. They must never know that color is an illusion. They must always think that they are not equal. Drop by drop, drop by drop, we will advance our goal. We will take over their land, resources and wealth to exercise total control over them. We will deceive them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom they will have. We will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in debt. When they shall band together, we shall accuse them of crimes and present a different story to the world, for we shall own all the media. We will use our media to control the flow of information and their sentiment in our favor. When they shall rise up against us, we will crush them like insects. But they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything. For they will have no weapons. We will recruit some of their own to carry out our plans. We will promise them eternal life 
but eternal life they will never have. They are not of us. The recruits will be called Initiates, and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. Members of these groups will think they are one with us, never knowing the truth. They must never learn the truth, for they will turn against us. For their work, they will be rewarded with earthly things and great titles, but never will they become immortal and join us. Never will they receive the light and travel the stars. They will never reach the higher realms, for the killing of their own kind would prevent passage to the realm of enlightenment. This they would never know. The truth will be hidden in their face. So close they will not be able to focus on it until it is too late. Oh yes, so grand the illusion of freedom would be that they will never know they are our slaves. When all is in place, the reality we will have created for them will own them. This reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of domination will begin. Their minds will be bound by their beliefs. The beliefs we have established from time immemorial. But if they ever find out they are our equal. We're not turning our guns in, and we're not running, and we're not backing down. If you want them, come and take them. We shall perish then. This they must never know. If they ever find out that together they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never, ever find out what we have done. For if they do, we shall have no place to run. For it will be easy to see who we are once the veil has fallen. Our actions will have revealed who we are, and they will hunt us down, and no person shall give us shelter. This covenant must never, ever be known to exist. It must never, ever be written or spoken of, for if it is, the consciousness it will spawn will release the fury of the Prime Creator upon us, and we shall be cast to the depths from whence we came, and remain there until the end time of infinity itself. have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.